Good morning everyone, kia ora. Today we're going to teach you how to make your own tornado in a bottle. This is an example that we've made before the video. And what words can we use, Maddie? About vortex. We like a swirly mass of water. Do you know any others? Um, whirlpool. A whirlpool's a good word. A tornado. All you really need to do at home is get yourself two clear plastic bottles. These are just lemonade. We're taking the labels off. A washer. A washer. You need to make this hole smaller. The hole in the top is too small to make the whirlpool. So we're going to put this washer right on top and we're going to join the two together with tape. With masking tape. Now it's not foolproof. There are sometimes a bit of leak and you can buy specific plastic joining screws that I've just made for this job. But if you're at home, if you're isolated and you want to make your own, this is the best way to do it. And make sure you've got nice and tight. Now you can put a bit of food colouring in, make it more interesting, even a bit of glitter, see if that goes round and round. Today we're just going to use water and lots of tape. All the way up to the top, Matt. And a great way to use lots of big words with your children, teach them all about centrifugal force, tornadoes, whirlpools, and the vortex, my favourite word for when I was nine. A swirling mass of water. You can try different things with this one. If the water's not swirling, it won't go down as fast. You can talk to your children about the reactions of what's happening in science. Alrighty, Matty, that looks pretty good. And the bigger you make the tornado, the slower it will suck down. The slower it sucks down. Well, let's test that theory. One tornado in a bottle. Enjoy, I hope you have fun. Bye. Bye.